PeachTools.com. G'day, 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 guys. Pete from Peach Tools. Awesome to see you here again today. Hey, today I want to have a go at making some more art. You know how if you've been watching my last videos, I'm really good at art. <laughs> I want to try and make a Halloween lantern out of a propane bottle. Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say g'day at peachtools.com or as a member to check out in the description below. I've got some links to what I find in my dumpsters every week. That's always good for a laugh. Anyway, guys, let's get on with this and see if I can actually make it look like something. Yeah. So one thing I really want to stress, guys, before we start is never, ever, ever cut into these propane tanks or LPG tanks if you're not a million percent sure that there's no gas residue left in it. I just don't mean opening the valve on the top. I mean that you've got to make sure that there is absolutely no gas residue left in it. Because cutting into these things, even if you think they're empty, is like a bomb. You'll blow yourself in half. So just make sure that you know what you're doing before you do it. I'm a bit of a wuss when it comes to this, so I've had this one checked out before I start cutting it. You know guys, forewarned is forearmed. Right, now let's see if I can make something look sort of semi-reasonable out of this. So if you've been following any of my videos, guys, you'll know that my art endeavours are not the best. So anyway, we'll give it another crack, give it another crack, Pete, see what happens. So this cylinder is actually not too bad. Like I say, I've made sure it's been degassed properly and I've had it checked before I start cutting into it. Last thing Pete needs is his arm blowing off or something like that because that would probably ruin your day. It might even ruin your week, guys. <laughs> so what I did to start off with, guys, I went onto the internet, the good old internet, and I got some stencils like this. This is you could use for a mouth. Uh, these you could use for eyes like that. A couple of eyes. And this one here you could use for a mouth. So what I thought I'd do, guys, is I'll tape them on to my cylinder here. Then I can draw an outline around them in a vivid marker. And then I can take them off, and then I'm going to start the old plasma cutter, and then we can cut it to bits and see how horrible a job I made of it. <laughs> so what I've decided to do, guys, is leave the base on here like that, because I want it sitting on a, a fence or a low fence or something like that, or maybe on my deck, so I can put a light in the inside of it as well, just to let the kids know, you know, that you can come in here and, and give us all a good fright. And what we're going to do with this end, guys, is just whip this off with the plasma cutter and tidy it up with the grinder. And then I might actually paint it a pumpkin colour and, and I might actually even put a stalk out the top and make it look like it's got a stalk on it. So what I've done, guys, is we've turned this bottle around like that. So I'm going to cut this off. This is going to be our bottom base. So we need to put like a mouth on here like so. <laughs> so all I'm going to do, guys, is just get a bit of sellotape and just tape that on there so I can trace around it so I can cut it out with a plasma torch. Because my freehand drawing is not good. So if I trace around what I can, and then whatever I can't after I take the stencil off, I'll just fill in by hand. What I'll do now is I'll rip the tape off it and then we'll just fill in the blanks that I didn't get. Here we go guys, that's what we're left with. So I'll just fill in the blanks and then we'll cut them out. Yeehaw! Here we go, a blind man will be pleased to see that. <laughs> By you, he'd be bloody pleased to see anything, wouldn't he? <laughs> right, let's go and get the plasma cutter, kick him in the guts, and we'll cut the face out. Remember, guys, if you're ever doing this, make sure it's 100% empty. You'll blow yourself in half.
came out of there. Yep. Cool. Notice I didn't blow myself up, which is probably a good bonus as well. <laughs> right, guys, now we'll do his snout. So we'll get rid of him. That was easy. <laughs> so I've cooled him down a bit guys. So all I'm going to do now is just give it a quick grind on the top here. And then I'm going to get my DA sander and we'll sand the front of it. That's not too bad guys, it's working out good. So what I thought I'd do with the top here guys, I've got this piece of old rebar here with a bend on the end of it. So I thought if I welded it in there like so on an angle, you could either hang it up on a hook like this hook, or it looks like the stalk if you've got it sitting on a table or something. I thought I'd paint this fluorescent green. So what we'll do guys to try and clean this up quickly, I'll use my DA sander. There's links to all these tools in the description down below if you want to go and see some other videos about my tools and other bits and pieces. Anyway, we'll just give this a quick once-over. What we'll do guys is give them a one side with an old rag. <laughs> I don't want it too smooth because I want them to look a bit ragged. You know how it is. <laughs> I reckon that looks alright. I like the rugged way his teeth come around there. It's quite cool actually. Anyway, I think so. So now what we'll do guys is I'm going to put his little stalk in the top here. So now guys, I've got my bit of rebar here. So I think I'll just weld it in there like so. So it looks like a bit of a stalk there. And then you can also hang it up if you wanted to. I'll leave a bit of gap where this valve went down because I want to put a piece of string down there because I've got this this torch here and I want to be able to hang it in the inside so we get uh, spooky looking lights at night. Yep, that looks like it's in there right. So I've got some methylated spirits here. I'm just going to give it a bit of a clean up, a quick clean up with that because I haven't got any... Um, paint thin or anything like that and this stuff is good as any it evaporates so and it'll clean it up it's good as gold Ooh. reminds me of the dents clean his face so I've got some orange paint guys I'll give him a bit of a paint job eh? give him a bit of a facelift this is supposed to be all in one undercoat as well so I'll believe them I like the way he looks scarred, I reckon that looks quite cool. Let it dry there. What do you reckon guys? Now we'll do the stalk, eh? We'll paint the stalk up here, we'll do them green. <laughs> what we'll do guys is I'll just chuck a towel around it so I don't get all this green crap all over my orange. Because I'm good like that. done guys is I've poked a bit of welding wire in through the top here through that gap that I left and I've got it coming out of the mouth here so we'll feed it up there we've got it on the torch and so I'll we'll be able to turn the torch on and just pull them up and we can hang them in the middle there and it should look quite cool tie a bit of wire to stuff like that just around there 
Just to hold him. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, guys, pretty scary. Not too bad for a first attempt. Amazing what you can do with a bit of crap and a plasma cutter. So that's about it for me this week. Good fun project to do for the kids or the grandkids. But remember what I said, guys, when you're cutting into these gas tanks, make a million percent sure that it's got no residue or gas left in it. Otherwise, you're going to blow yourself all over kingdom come. And that would probably ruin your week. Even ruin your day. Might even ruin your year. Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day. Hi, Pete at PeachTools.com. And we'll see you next time, eh? Yeah! Happy Halloween! PeachTools.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.